Hey guys, Effie here. Today I'm introducing our Layer Dahlia Stencil SVG Cut File. It contains five images total. Four of the images are layering stencils, and then the last fifth image will cut out the Dahlia cluster after it's all been colored. But you may want to cut out that cluster image first and then blend the color onto that piece. Each of these six by six stencils has these two tick marks at the top so you know exactly how to position them when you're ready to do some ink blending. Now let's get started with our coloring. I'm just going to tape down stencil number one onto some white cardstock with some Thermoweb purple tape and then I'm just going to blend in some of our rose quartz dye ink. This is going to be my lightest layer for my Dahlia. This is the base color. This SVG cut file contains four six by six ready to cut stencil images. You can resize the stencil size depending on the software that you're using, but they are all ready to cut at six by six inches. For my stencil here though, they are a little smaller. I think they were cut at five and a half inches. The great thing about these digital files is that you can resize them to any size that you want. For the layered uh, stencils or digital cuts, you just want to make sure that as you resize, you select everything as you increase or decrease the size so that every layer is proportionate to each other. So I'm just going to continue our ink blending for this beautiful Dahlia. So here you can see the tick marks. Just make sure that that portion of the stencil is facing towards the top. You want to make sure that that is how you position each of those four stencils in this file. Um, or just make sure that the tick marks for all the stencils are in the same direction. So let's say uh, your first stencil, the, those tick marks are on the right side. You want to make sure that the tick marks for the rest of the three following stencils are also facing towards the right. For this last layer of the petals, I actually combined two colors, our Red Sangria Hybrid Ink and our Valentine Red Dye Ink. And this is just to get a little bit more contrast by adding a darker red towards the center of the Dahlia. And that's the great thing about these stencils. You can use different colored inks in one area. So here I have bright emerald and I'm blending it into the leaves, but then I'm going to take our hot tourmaline dye ink and I'm just going to blend a little bit on towards the inner portion of the petals to give it that bit of shading for a little bit more depth. This fourth or last stencil has the negative areas for you to blend in the ink for the center of the Dahlia, which I'll blend with our amber citrine dye ink. And then off to the bottom left hand side, you have these little holes. Uh, just move the stencil over and apply some additional ink. This is going to give that center a little bit more texture and I use our Coraline Hybrid Ink. And here is the finished product. How gorgeous is this and how easy. I cut this stencil out of Mylar stencil material. I will link the product that I use in the description box below. We also have a similar layering peony stencil digital file as well in our collection. So be sure to check that out as well. We have a growing digital file collection. I add files every week. So be sure to check out the new section in our digitals category on our website. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.